got a cowboy with us this time. Yeah, right. We didn't have to rendezvous. And uh, we're down in the Goat Rocks Wilderness area, and this is called Midway Meadows. And we're saddled up here, getting ready to go head out of here. We're in this meadow here, and backcountry horsemen are having a little potluck from the, I guess, southwest chapter down by Longview, and kind of give you an idea what this meadow looks like here. Pack and ship and riding darling this time. So we're heading out of here. I'm gonna give you an idea how dry it is. Have to follow about 100 yards behind one another. We're just breaking out the Mad Adams up here and we should have a nice view. Well, we're down here toward Mount Adams and we're just fixing old King's uh, boxes and stuff a little bit. And we're down here where there's a big old lava flow and Mount Adams is just looming right over the, around this rock right over here that you see. And uh, we'll be breaking out there to show it to you in just a second. Well, there she is, Mount Adams, right there. See all the volcanic ash on the ground from Mount St. Helens explosion. The darn mule here isn't cooperating at all. Wants to catch up with the other end. Well, King did fine for not being packed in a couple of years. Snoo's doing fine too. We kind of have a storm front on us. We're hoping it'll rain a little tonight. We Found us a campsite at, what's this called, Jerry, green what? Uh, green timber. Green timber. Green timber meadows. And, uh, yeah, I'm really broke out where I can really get a good view of yeah, Mount right Adams. Really Mountain just right up behind me here, but we're gonna set camp up here for the night. And got a little stream over here. And, Really dusty trail today. Very dusty. Really dusty. And uh, dustiest we've ever been on. Well, folks, I guess it's Monday. Or, no, Saturday morning is it? Yeah, Saturday morning. We got a lot of rain last night. We got a flood in the bottom of our tent down in here, about two inches of water underneath our tent because we set it in a low spot. And our nice little experts thought that the ground was dry enough after a seven year drought that it was gonna be okay, but not the case. So we got everything stored in our tents nice and dry. And we're out here trying to tend to some horses that were kind of cold because they got rained on all night but uh, I guess we do have a little blue sky off and on sun's right over there so what do you think Jerry? Oh I think it's a great day. I think we're dressed for the North Pole but we're gonna do all right. Yeah. We slept in a pond last night. <laughs> Well, George is complaining about where he had to sleep. He had the lowest goddamn part in all the water. And he just complained about it, and I had that big hump in my back right there. And we're out here just enjoying this nice weather. God, it's nice out here. You know, and the poor goddamn horses are standing there in the rain, just don't quite know what to do with themselves. Yeah, wet. This is where our tent was pitched for the night, right in the lowest spot. And this tent here is doing all right because it had the saddles and it's on a side slope. And this, this right over here is our illegal fire. It took a quart of gas to get going. Stuff, but we finally got a fire going. It's against the law because it's too dry out. So, what the hell? Table where we've been eating and stuff. The pan full of water, Jim. Yeah, pan fulls of water. Well, anytime we want water, all we had to do is tip up the tent and we got all the water we want. Yeah, it's been a great camp. Well, I'm going to say goodbye to you. We're breaking camp. We're going to head out of here. Really can't understand why, but uh, we're going to do her anyway.
Well, after a wonderful potluck dinner last night and stuff at Mid Mountain and stuff, well, we uh, migrated up to Walrup Lake again. We're going to pack out of here and get up on top. And uh, we had a really good night over there in that meadow visiting with people and stuff. And we're going to start go out there and we're heading up into the Goat Rocks now so we can get up into the, where it's a lot higher country. It's been really socked in and cloudy. We're getting a little sun right now. We're hoping it's going to be all right. So we're at Walrup Lake and you can see it right out here. Getting ready to head up into the high country here. So, see a little view of the lake here. A pretty little lake. Well, we're just starting to break out here and if Chip would quit horsing around, we're just starting up in the goat rocks here. We've got a pretty little meadow down in here. We're going to be high riding up in on this ridge here and topping out. Well, we're here at a horse camp. Got a nice little lake down here. And pretty spot, nice meadow down in here. Pretty pretty. Got to turn around here and film my old boyfriend's back here. But I'd like to, yeah, if you stay right there, you can get the yeah. lake in there also, and then also in rocks. Okay. It'd be a good picture. And we're picture taken. Side of it. Here, clip. We had a, this is a big here. brown husky malmute half wolf up here that attacked a horse at this camp. and. The forest ranger told us to shoot him on sight if we see him. The, uh, so Jerry's got his gun. We're going to do some target practice. Yeah. Now this, the sheep lake that they were talking about that had a lot of grazing, that, is uh, that's basically we go out along this big long ridge here, and then there's a creek that goes back up in there somewhere, and you cross that creek, and just on the other side of the creek, around that corner over there, is a sheep lake. And that is... Um, five miles from where we're at right now. That's about on top of Nanny Ridge there, right? Correct. Right there. Is that the one that's actually open? We're running into these people that have that dog. Boo. There's Walworth Lake right over there. And beautiful meadows down here. And yeah, if I were you, I'd, I'd head out of here because everybody's been notified to shoot them on site. And we have mount items over here. Yeah, irrelevant, you know. If you want to put one of these horses over the side, you're going to be responsible for everything. So everybody in the area has been notified. Yep. Yeah, we met the forest, uh, the forest marshal right down there by the lake. Uh, yeah, he, he, he told me to take my gun out and shoot him on sight. Right here. Okay. Well, we thought we'd stop here on the hillside a little bit and take our last little view of uh, Mount Adams over here. We might have some more, but I hope we're not getting into where we have a backlight problem here. I'll walk down here a little bit, see if I can get a... Better view up above the lake now where we can't see Walrup Lake, but it sure is pretty on this basin here with these two little lakes that are down there and then this big rock face out there we saw a few goats on. Ran across that mountain, we three boys and a dad, and dad could hardly hold it as we have come alongside the elk, wanted to chase the horses again. We told them that they better uh, restrain their dog or it's going to die. Well, we got a bull elk trim this little tree here. Just getting up ready to break out into the open here just a little bit. Sorry for the bumpiness, but see where that old elk just worked that tree over. Good. Must be a big bull around here somewhere. This is the head of the Cispus River right here, looking out towards some peaks and real pretty.
some pretty metal right over here. This is the head of the Cispus River right down this drainage here. That's Nanny Ridge over there. That one wants to catch up, so we were. Well, we're heading up out of Cispus Pass by the lake there, and we decided to come. The Indian Reservation is just right on this side of the knoll here. So we're just going to get up here and see what we see in camp. For the there was water back in that little ravine over there. Oh yeah, there's plenty of water. This is Lake Corral on the Indian Reservation right here. I'll get up where Jerry's at and see if I can get a better view of it. Jerry said he saw some big fish rings on the lake too, so... Must be some fish in there, huh? I only got a hundred feet of film left here, so I'm gonna have to. Well, we just dropped over the pass here. Oh, I'm telling you, this is pretty. Really beautiful drainage down in here. Really something. It's called Devil's Horns right there. Well, we'll show you camp. We came out across here, and it's going to be a little sunny here, probably. Camp raising. Camp raising. We have a camp raising going on. Those horses and mules like to roll just as soon as they can get out of here. That's what they like to do. And our backdrop for tonight is right over there. Go up in there and explore a little bit. Back. Put the old poles in the old tent and up she goes. Well, we're in camp here and got the horses hobbled and we made little progress from the last report here. Our domes are up drying out right now and stuff and we're having a beer and just taking our time about everything here. Don't hurry about nothing. Yeah, drinking water's coming right out of a little spring here on the hillside. Dropping down and just right above camp and we got a nice little stream down there. So I'd show you a little bit more of the view. Devil's horns over there. Titan Peak. That's the Titan River drainage again. <laughs> well, we thought we thought we was gonna get a picture of Jim and Darlin sleeping together. <laughs> uh, I'll just get a picture. I'll kiss him. <laughs> He's tired. He carried a fat ass all day long. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, now she wants you to feed her. Yeah. Jimmy says, God damn you. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, he, he took some pretty good wallops from her yeah. leg. We either just heard a bull elk people down here or another hunter. The guys behind us here in this camp overlooking all this have a radio going. They don't even know we're here. Beautiful spot. They're just sitting up there overlooking the world right up there. Uh, I take my war paint off. Well, we're up in that wonderful hunting camp overlooking the world out here and taking his camel off. Well, the sunset is almost here. 
bunch of mountain goats over here the guys went over to look at. They're well, looking south from their camp now. There's where we were yesterday. Probably got 50,000 hundred gallons of water dumped on our heads and I guess they had the same thing happen here. Isn't that right, Tom? Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Tom's got sideways up here. Tom says it was really ripping and roaring. This little water hole down there wasn't there the day before yesterday. But it sure settled the dust. Uh, had a little weight shift problem here. Get that taken care of, and boy, look at what we're looking at right here. Good old Mount Adams right over there. It's just beautiful. Everything's doing just fine. Old Chip here, he wants to rub onto my saddle bags, and I say no to him. Yeah, we get this thing straightened up here. Ooh. Boy, it sure is pretty out through there. Well, we're heading up right at Sheep Lake, and uh, this is a view up towards the north on the Goat Rocks now, towards Titan Peak. Give you an idea of where we're at here. Really pretty country. And it flows on for quite a ways back in that direction, but you can't see, so. Just thought I'd show it to you. Well, a little 360 here to show you what's going on here. And then wait till I turn around the other way. Here the boys are overlooking this view here. And we got a beautiful view. All back up through here. Really pretty. A couple little lakes down in here. That's what we came for. What a nice day. You can see way off to the bit far distance where it looks like snow grass over there. What do you think, George? Great. 